الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وبعد These days the Arabs are remembering what they call Al-Nakba which is one of the disasters that hit the Palestinian people they remember it every year, yet they seem to do less and less about it every year. I don't want to talk specifically about a Nakba because it's only a result of a bigger sin. And uh, what I'm going to do is read one of my articles and uh, insha'Allah, Allah willing, uh, take it from there. The title of the article is Israel, the Bible, Western and Eastern Christians, the UN, you have killed my people. 100 years of Palestinian Holocaust in Palestine, Palestine, by Jalal Abu Rub. This is the longest ongoing Holocaust in modern times. It is not the one where Christian Europe tried to exterminate the Jews of Europe in the 1930s and 40s. It is a Holocaust that started in the early 1900s and still continues to this very day. Early on in this longest Holocaust, Christian and Muslim Palestinians suffered massive theft of their land, mass killings, massacres of entire villages, and the expulsion of millions of Palestinians whose ties to Palestine date earlier than the Bible itself. For almost 100 years, Christian and Muslim Palestinians, the true owners of all of Palestine, Palestine, have suffered daily crises of killings, beatings, loss of land and homes and farms, Attacks by crazed Jewish settlers, especially those who came from New York, protected by the Israeli army, house demolitions, jailing of children, humiliation, violence, and much more. Continuous for a hundred years. This is an inhumane Holocaust perpetrated by Jews against the Palestinians. It has lasted more than 100 years, uh, more than 10 times in comparison to the Christian Holocaust against uh, European Jews in the 20th century. The sin of Christianity. Christians used a book, the Bible, which both of its Old and New Testaments were written by the Jews, the enemies of Jesus, the New Testament, to justify their compensating European Jews, a majority of whom may have never been Israelites, <laughs> may not be Israelites, claimed to be Jewish, for the massacres of Europe's Jews. So they killed the Jews, who may not be even Israelites, never been, for the massacres of the Jews in Europe, they gave Palestine to the Jews as compensation. The Jewish Holocaust was committed by the Christian nations of Germany Italy, France, Romania, Hungary, Austria, and uh, others with cooperation and collaboration 
at least silence from the Vatican and neutral Switzerland. Mind you, Switzerland only took the gold. The Bible, fabricated by the Jews, formed the religious foundation of Christian atrocities against the Jews and also against Muslims, including Palestinians. It's not new. The Bible falsely claims that the Jews killed Jesus, the Lord and Savior of the Christians, who never said he is the Lord or Savior of the Christians, of the Europeans, who said that he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, only. So the Christians killed the Jews throughout history as much as they could over the span of tens of centuries. The Bible falsely claims that God gave Palestine to the seed of Abraham forever. They still use that even today, that God gave us Palestine forever. Forever seems to ignore the 19th centuries that passed since the Romans expelled the Jews from Palestine, the Romans, until European Jews stole it in the 20th century. I say Jews, not Israelites, not the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham somehow includes herds of Europeans who claim to be Jewish yet who are by no means among the seed of Abraham. The Bible has sinned. The Jewish Holocaust against the Palestinians started long before Hitler, who declared that he will always be Catholic. The Palestinian Holocaust started by a promise by one of the worst war criminals of all time. Arthur James Balfour, the British Foreign Secretary. Balfour made a declaration in November 2nd, 1917 of British support for the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. Which means what? We had nothing to do with Palestine at that time. This criminal, supported by his king, and the people now are crying, the Arabs may be feeling remorse for the death of Queen Elizabeth. This man gave Palestine that had millions of Muslims and Arabs living there, and Christians also, gave it for free to the Jews to establish a national home for the Jews, which means what? It wasn't their home. <laughs> That's why the promise came. It wasn't their home. Masses of European Jews started pouring into Palestine, stealing, killing, expelling the true owners of Palestine who had never done the Jews any harm. The British facilitated the vicious Jewish onslaught on Palestine. In 1947, the United Nations perfected this Christian crime by dividing Palestine into Jewish and Arab states, leading to the minority Jews receiving more of Palestine's land than the majority Palestinians, Muslims and Christians, than the majority Palestinians retained of their own land. The Christians have fanatically provided Jews with everything the Jews needed to devastate the Palestinians. The Palestinians are facing not only the Jews of Israel, they are also facing the entire West 
and other countries who provide the lifeline for Israel. Truly, it's not the other way around as many Arabs keep saying. The life of Israel literally is in the hands of the Christians. They, they, they can choke it. America, Canada, and Western Europe gave and still give its best weapons, intelligence, and a great deal of money to Israel, while Eastern Europe gave Israel millions of immigrants who claimed to be Jewish. Perfect crime. But it's not going to be forever, as the Bible claims. Things, things changed for the worst for the Palestinians ever since then. Imagine if your entire nation and for several consecutive generations suffers even a fraction of the dehumanization and crimes the Palestinians have suffered at the hands of people who for almost 20 centuries never had any connection to or with Palestine. Unbelievable. What made this an extreme crime are gangs of violent, heartless European non-Israelites who claim to be Jewish, who were brought from Europe into Palestine, including from Ukraine. Ukraine, Ukraine. Remember Golda Meir from Kiev? Europe wanted to pay for its crimes against the Jews by giving them a land they never owned. Nor any other Jew owned. There were some Jews there. They lived for centuries among the Arabs and Muslims and in Palestine and the Christians. Uh, they lived for centuries and centuries uh, in peace, but they were a very small minority. Palestine, a land that belongs to a people who never harmed any Jew before the Jews attacked them in their own land, homes, and farms. I am a Palestinian. Numerous members of my extended family, many of them children, were born and died at the hands of the Jews, and I never get the chance to meet them or see their innocent faces. Most Palestinians went through the same or even worse experiences. How many more, Palest How many more Palestinians will die with the key to their stolen houses in their hand, never to have seen their houses, homes, or land again? The world needs to realize and admit to what they have done against the Palestinians. Meanwhile, we will never, never, never give up Palestine, no matter the sacrifice we have to pay to keep this cause alive. We promise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator and owner of everything will compensate us. These days, the Jews act like uh, they have won. But uh, from 1947 until now, the establishment of their state, uh, the number of years that have passed, they're nothing compared to history. So things will change when Muslims wake up, when Arabs wake up, and stop lining up to greet the Jews and admit falsely, falsely, that this is the state of Israel. It might be today, because, you know, politically it is, they control most of Palestine for now, but they don't own the future. They can't on the future. The future will come when Muslims will one day take Palestine, all of it, back from the Jews. It happened before, 
it took Muslims 200 years to reclaim Palestine from the Christians, the Crusaders. Having failed after 200 years of occupation, killing and destruction of unbelievable proportion, being defeated by Salahuddin and the armies of Islam and Muslims. They went back to Europe, continued plotting against the Jews, killing and destruction, and then they thought, uh, let's get rid of this trouble, the Jews. We'll give them Palestine, let them fight all the time with the Palestinians, the Arabs and Muslims. We support them with weapons, but we get rid of the Jewish trouble, especially from Europe. But uh, the Jews should understand that uh, the Christians do not like them, let alone love them. They don't love them. Jews, it's temporary. These people killed you for about 2,000 years. All of a sudden, they love you. While reading their book, in it, the Jews, the enemies of Jesus, wrote that they killed Jesus who was proclaimed falsely to be the God of the Christians. So it's not possible that Christians love you, especially the fanatical Christians, either Catholics, Protestants, uh, everyone who supported the Jews uh, with this crime, given a land they never owned to a people they never liked, or loved and uh, in the meantime causing the death of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians and other Arabs and the expulsion of millions of Palestinians away from the land. I am a living example of someone who lived outside of Palestine most of my life. I just visited there three times each time for a few days. But uh, Palestine is in our heart. It doesn't matter what the Arabs do today to kiss the hands of the Jews. We are not going to do that. We promise, we promise, we promise. It will take time. And at this time, uh, we need to remind our children, our Muslim brothers, our the new Muslims who come to the religion that it is an Islamic cause, Palestine. Not only a land that belongs to Muslims, it has a holy place in the hearts of those who say La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated in the Quran, Wala yansuranna Allahu man yansuruh. So the promise from Allah is that if we give aid and victory to Allah, meaning to his religion, and come back to the religion, Allah will give us aid and victory. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.